Sugarcane just launched early access for their tool, and whether you trade tokens or not, I feel this is a great opportunity, not financial advice, as they will have a point system, and although they have not confirmed anything, I believe there will be a correlation between the points and an eventual token. So in this video, I want to discuss how to earn points, as well as go through a tutorial on how to use the web app version of the Shuriken tool. So there are three different ways to gather points. The first is by referring other people to use the tool, for which my referral link is below this video. The second Second way is by supporting them on social media. And the third way is by logging into the tool and using it to trade tokens. Now, all three of these point categories are gonna have their very own scoring system, and you will be able to keep track of this through their dashboard. So Shuriken is both a Telegram and a web-based tool. So whether you're on the go or you're at home in front of your desktop, there is a tool made specifically for that situation. And the best part about it is these tools are in sync. So whatever you do in the web app is gonna be directly reflected in the Telegram version of the tool and vice versa. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm only going to be going through the web app version of Shuriken. However, if you're familiar with tools like Maestro, Unibot, Banana Gun, picking up the Telegram version of Shuriken is going to be a breeze. So the first thing we're going to want to do is navigate to their web app, for which, again, I have a link below this video. And then you're just going to want to go ahead and click log in. Now, from here, you have to choose a wallet. I pick MetaMask. You can pick whatever you want. I'm going to connect my wallet. We sign and once it's approved you're going to be presented with this screen now you can read it if you want they just explained the tool i'm going to go ahead and click next and here you don't have to do this if you want to connect the telegram version of the tool to your web app you can set it up from this screen now mine is already set up so i'm going to click i'll do this later you can also click i'll do this later i will show you how to connect it i just won't show you from this screen so if we move on to the next step here is where you fund the wallet that they provide you with here you're going to see your own wallet that has a different address from the one that I have here on screen. And if you want to fund it, you just either select amount or put a custom amount. I'm a brokey, so I have to put a custom amount. I would just click deposit, but I already have my wallet set up. So I'm just going to do, I'll do this later. If you don't want their wallet, you can also click, I don't need this wallet. I'll import my own for which they present you with a screen to import your own wallet. From here, you would just need to put a name, a comma, and then you would need to paste the private key that you would get from your MetaMask wallet. So whatever option you choose, you're going to go to the next screen, which is, I guess they're just going to use this for marketing. So I'm just going to click trade now. So if you do want to connect the web app version to the Telegram version of Shuriken, you're going to have to open up a channel with the Shuriken bot on Telegram. Again, I have a link for this under this video. And then from there, you're going to want to do link Telegram. Now, in Telegram, you're going to have to type slash link. They're going to provide you with a code that's going to expire within 15 minutes. You just paste the code right here, click link. You go back to Telegram and you confirm that you do indeed want to link these two together. The other thing you can do, which if you're trying to earn points, I do suggest doing it, is linking your Twitter. So you would just click link Twitter. And we always verify the perms that they're asking for. Here, they're only going for read perms. They're not asking to tweet from our account or log in or anything so we can do authorize app. And once that's done, they should disappear from the top and you should see this screen, which has a ton of components on it that have no information in them. So I just jumped over to my already set up version of Shuriken. Yours is gonna be blank, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna show you how to use this tool from scratch. So this entire dashboard can be customized. You can do this by clicking the layout button in the top left. And now I could manipulate the entire dashboard, move things around, make things bigger, smaller, however I want. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to start a brand new grid. You do this just by clicking the plus button at the top. You can have as many as you want, and you can also rename them by clicking the three dots and doing rename. And from here to add more components, you would just click the drop down on the top right. And you have a search bar here where you're presented with six different components. This is what they have for now. Of course, the team is working on a ton of features for the future. So eventually this is going to be a very long list, but for this tutorial, we're going to go through each one, one by one, and I'll explain what they do, but don't feel obliged to use every single one on your dashboard. You can set this up as you want, and you can even have multiple grids, one for trading tokens, one for your wallets, one for managing your positions, whatever you want. So the first one that we have is going to be pool chart. 
So I'm just going to click this. It's gonna appear on the screen. It is very small. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger just by selecting the bottom right and dragging and dropping. And I'm gonna lock that into place by clicking the layout button. Now, if we paste in a contract address into the search bar, you're gonna notice this looks pretty much exactly like Dex Tools. We even have all these options from Trading View, just like Dex Tools and Dex Screener, where I can draw some lines on the screen. And there are additional options here. If you click this burger button on the top right, we can do show info, which is gonna show additional info like market cap and volume and stuff like that. And we also have show trades, which just like on Dex Tools, you have all the recent trades that went through. So I'm just gonna make this part a little bit bigger. Again, if you want to manipulate the size, make it a little bit longer, you can do that. And personally, I like turning off show info since most of the info is on top right here, like market cap. So we don't need that extra thing on the right. Now let's go ahead and add in another component. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick the next one, which is quick order. And you'll notice it's now on the bottom, which is not an ideal place for it. But like I said, you can drag and drop these things anywhere you want and make your dashboard look exactly how you want it to do. So I'm gonna put mine on the left here. You could put it on the right, it doesn't matter. And quick order is exactly what it sounds like. It's where you can buy, sell, snipe, and approve tokens. So if I wanna buy a token, I just paste in an address and I chose this token completely at random. So please do not go and buy it, at least not without doing proper research. And if I did wanna buy this token, I would select one or multiple wallets that I wanna buy from, then I would select an amount. We even have some advanced options. So if I want to do a limit buy, or if I want to buy above a certain price or market cap, and then when I'm ready, I would click buy this token and the transaction would go through, you'll notice very quickly. Now, if you linked your web app to your Telegram, if you go in Telegram and you purchase a token, you should see exactly like I see here, it's gonna show you your recent purchase. And if you have auto approve on, it's also going to show you that it was approved. Now, the other thing you'll notice if you just purchased a token is that Shuriken is incredibly quick. And the reason for this is that most bots use RPCs and APIs, which is an extra step when you trade tokens. Whereas Shuriken uses a custom method for sending transactions out to all major MEV relays. So in other words, their execution speed is incredibly fast. Now, other things you can do from this screen is sell a token. It'll only show up here if you have any tokens in your wallet. So I chose a different one here. I would click the wallet I wanna sell from. I can pick the amount. Again, we also have custom options here. So if I want to set up a take profit when it hits a certain price, it's automatically gonna sell for me. We can also set up a stop loss if it goes down to a certain market cap or a trailing stop loss if it goes down by a certain percentage. The next thing we have is sniping tokens. So if a token hasn't released yet, but you know the contract address, you could paste it in here and you can set up your sniper. So you would just pick the wallet you wanna buy it from. You would put in the ETH amount you want to purchase. You would set up your bribe and bribe is really dependent on everybody setting a bribe who's using this tool. So even if you put you know, a large amount, it doesn't mean that your bribe is gonna win. And again, here we do have advanced options. You have a tax option. So let's say a dev is being sneaky and he puts a 99% buy tax. Here you could say, hey, I wanna snipe this, but don't snipe it if the tax is above 15% right out the go. Same thing for a sale tax. You know, Don't buy this if the sale tax is above 30%. And of course, there's other options options like amount out and first bundle only if you only want your snipe to go through if it's going to be within the first bundle. And the final option is approving a token. However, for me personally, I go in these settings on the top right corner here. I click the cog and you have a ton of settings here like MEV protection. You could set up the gas amount or default ETH amounts that you want to select, you know, sell options, snipe options. But if you go to approval, here's where you can turn on auto approve. So as soon as you purchase a token, it's going to automatically approve without you having to do anything. So it's going to be way faster when you want to go to sell. So if I were to buy a token, I'm of course going to want to see the status of my order. So for that, we can add in the order history tab. And I like mine on the right. I'm going to also make it a little bit longer and lock this in. So in this wallet, I have two purchases and you can see them reflected here. If I had a snipe, it would appear as pending and you could always filter by transaction status as well as transaction type. And if I want more information on a specific transaction, you can just click the arrow here and it's going to tell you more things about your purchase or your sell or whatever it is. Now I just purchased tokens. So of course I want to see those tokens for that. We're going to use the positions component and same thing. I like this one 
On the right, we're also gonna make it a little bit longer and lock this into place. So from here, we have a few things we can do. I can toggle on anti-rug if I wanna be safe. I can also hide tokens. Let's say, you know, I did get rugged. I didn't sell it, the token went to zero and I no longer wanna see it in my wallet because it's bugging me. If we select it, we go to actions, you can hide it the same way you can hide a NFT on OpenSea and put it in a hidden folder. And if we wanna see that, you just go to hidden positions and here's a token. If we wanna unhide it, we just click unhide and it reappears in my positions. Now, some other things we can do from this component, you can quickly sell either a portion or the entirety of your position. We can also go to manage, which gives us more sell options. Like we can set up a stop loss from here, similar to how we could have set one up in the advanced options of selling a token in the quick order. And finally, if you do wanna flex your profits on Twitter or Discord, whatever it is, you would click this share button right next to the percentage and it automatically generates an image where you can flex. Here I'm flexing my 9.81% gains, which with the amount that I've invested is 0.002 ETH in profit. We made it boys. And of course we have two different styles that we can choose from. The next thing we can add in is our wallets, which is exactly what it sounds like. This is just where you have your wallet management. So from here, I can edit the name of a wallet. I can export the keys if I want them in my MetaMask. I can also delete the wallet. And if I want to generate new wallets, you would just click the plus and it brings up the screen. I can generate four wallets. I'm not gonna use this wallet, so feel free to steal this private key if you want to. You can also import existing wallets like I showed you at the beginning. You just do name plus the private key of that wallet. Now, the final component that we can add at the time of this video, because they're gonna have more, is the watch list. Let's just make this one a little bit bigger. And to add one to the watch list, again, I grab this token randomly off Dex Tools. It's the first one I saw. You just paste in the address and you click the star and it now is in my watch list. I could set this in a different order if I prefer one token over another. I can also delete tokens from my watch list if I wanted to. If I wanna quickly grab a contract address, I can just click the name of it and it's gonna copy it to my dashboard so I can come here and now paste it in. However, there is a better way of doing this and that is with components. Now you might've noticed every single component has this chain symbol in the top right. Some of them have it next to the token name. And if I were to click it, there's gonna be a one and a two. So if I click one here, you'll notice it now appears in this slot, which you get by clicking the drop down. And same thing, if I go to another token and click two, that one is going to pop up in the two section. And the way to use this is the components that have this symbol in the top right. Here, if I click it and then I click one, now you're gonna see it's one. It's gonna load the token that I have in that one position. So same thing here, I wanna buy a token. I don't wanna have to paste the address. I just click one. Now it says one and that token is is going to appear in this section. So if I switch it to two right here, it's going to automatically bring up Boba. And then let's just switch it back to one so I can show you. If I were to take this token, which isn't right now, one is Bitcoin, which is Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic 10 Inu. If I were to put this token here in the one position, it's automatically gonna update both the quick order and the pool chart because these are both linked to the one connector. And that does it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below. It helps a ton with my engagement. Make sure you use my referral link so I can farm those sweet, sweet referral points. If you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace. Uh, 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 uh,